A wonderful algebra question. The sum of a, b, and c is one. The sum of a squared, b squared, and c squared is two. The sum of a cube, b cube, and c cube is three. Solve for the value of the product of a, b, and c. How wonderful the question is! How can we solve it successfully? Their forms are beautiful. Two bar one, one. Two bar two, two. Two bar three, three. However, the fact is, the forms are unimportant. We only have to observe their relationships. Let's have a look at the first two equations. A plus b plus c is one. A squared plus b squared plus c squared is two. My question: Are there any relationships between a plus b plus c and a squared plus b squared plus c squared? Of course, there are many. However, the most important relationship between them is this formula. Look. The square of a plus b plus c. This formula. Understanding this formula is not difficult. It is a squared plus b squared plus c squared, and then plus two ab plus two bc plus two ca. It is two times. I'm gonna take out a two, and in the bracket, it is a b a b plus b c plus c a. You can find out that the sum of a b and c is given. The sum of a squared b squared and c squared is given. So we can evaluate this part, this section, a b plus b c plus c a. A plus b plus c, the sum of a, b, and c is one. So substitute it into this equation. One squared, the left side. A squared plus b squared plus c squared is two. It is two plus two times a b plus b c plus c a. A b. Plus B C plus C A. It is equal to one squared minus two. It is negative one, and then divided by two on the both sides. So it is negative a half. Negative one over two. We've got the value of A B plus B C plus C A. Now what we're going to use is another formula. Understanding this formula is not difficult. However, this formula that I'm going to show you is a little bit long. This formula actually is a factorization. It was discovered by Euler. He was the most famous mathematician in the 18th century. This formula: look, the sum of a cube, b cube, and c cube. Minus three times a b c is equal to the factorization of this term is a plus b plus c and then times a squared plus b squared plus c squared and then minus a b minus b c. Minus C A. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't write it so straightly. Not only this one, but this one as well. My God. Please forgive me. So now, what can we find out? A cube plus B cube plus C cube. This section we know it is equal to three. A plus B plus C. We know it is equal to one. A squared, b squared, c squared. We know it is equal to two, and 
Here, if I take out a negative sign, it is AB plus BC plus CA in the bracket, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. So the only thing that we don't know is the value of A, B, and C. However, we are going to solve for the value of A times B times C. So it's a good chance, isn't it? So I'm going to tell you that this formula is very, very important. It is a very famous formula, actually a factorization. So actually for this question, this is the main line, the main formula, the main equation. So then I'm going to write it here. Here is 3, isn't it? Minus 3 times ABC. ABC, we don't know. So we have to regard this equation as an equation about ABC. The right hand side, A plus B plus C, it is 1. N times A squared plus B squared plus C squared is 2. Minus, here if I take out a negative sign, what can we get? In the bracket, it is AB plus BC plus CA. So, actually it is equal to 2 minus negative 1 over 2. 3 minus 3 times ABC, it is 1 times, 1 times any number is equal to that number. 2 minus negative 1 over 2, it is 2 plus 1 over 2, it is 5 over 2. And then 3 times ABC, it is 3 minus 5 over 2. 3 is actually 6 over 2. 6 over 2 minus 5 over 2, it is 1 over 2. We're going to start for the value of a times b times c, and this equation, the simple equation about a, b, c, has been already solved. So the value of a times b times c is equal to 1 over 2 divided by 3, it is 1 sixth, 1 over 6. So that's the answer. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to me for more videos. We'll see you next time.